Everyone has their favorite and least favorite compounds in Hunt Showdown. I'm looking at you, Scupper and Prison. I think my favorite location has to be Healing Waters. Uh, it seems a lot of people want to play it like uh, like it's a big hedge maze. It's like you're standing on the ground with a bunch of walls around you and you're limited in that you can only be on the ground. But wouldn't it be a major advantage if you could stand on all of the walls? Yes, yes, it actually would be. And before I tell you all my favorite spots at Healing Waters, I have to tell you that I stream on Twitch five days a week. You can see me use these spots and others live. Link is in the description. Now, everything I'm going to show you is very situational. It's not going to be the best thing to do in all cases. It's up to you to know when to use these tactics. The first big suggestion I have for you isn't just going to help you with what I'm about to show you, but it's going to help you in, with Hunt in general. Uh, you need to separate your jump and your vault binds. Let's say I know somebody's out in this direction and I want to keep being evasive. Uh, I can be as close to this railing as I want to be without actually vaulting over while still being able to jump. I can jump here all day long and not have to worry about vaulting over until I actually want to. Uh, there's been a bunch of times before I made the switch to uh, having different keys for jumping vault. Uh, I'd be holding an angle on a railing like this trying to trying to be evasive and jump and accidentally jump over and oh I, I i gave up the angle you don't want to do that uh so having jump and vault on different keys or just different binds is going to help you a lot uh also is windows when you vault through a window you're locked into that animation you cannot really look around at all so if you're locked in that animation you are screwed uh, just as another example, let's say I know somebody's sitting in this corner. Uh, if I try to vault through and look over to the left as fast as possible, I'm locked in that animation. But since I have jump and vault on different binds, I can just jump into the window and already be pre-fire or pre-aiming that angle. Instead of vaulting, being locked, and then I can look over, I can just jump into the window and be already ready to shoot the dude. I have jump on space and vault is on a scroll wheel up. And it's easy for me to remember that because let's say I want to vault over a wall. I'm thinking scroll wheel up and it's, it's going over, up and over, right? That for me is very easy to remember and uh, I don't really have to think about it. Really easy to learn and memorize. Okay, without any other disclaimers, let's get into it. So if you end up having this clue, the dangerous way to get this is to just go up the ladder. You also have a window at the side, but that is still pretty dangerous. You could go upstairs, go through the window so that you don't have to go up that ladder. Ladders in general are pretty dangerous. So you could go through this window. I really wouldn't recommend it. What you can do is stay on the inside and grab that clue from this angle. That little hole in the wall is, is visible from a lot of places, so it's still kind of dangerous. But that is the safest way to get that clue. Healing Waters has a ton of these tombs that you can stand on top of and I try to utilize these as much as I can uh, just to get off the actual ground level and get myself some elevation there's so much verticality in healing waters that I feel like if you don't use it you're you're just at a disadvantage being able to get on top of stuff and get angles that people wouldn't expect is a big deal to me uh, like instead of instead of just peeking this angle here I feel like it's so much better to uh, get on top of here and try to get an angle like this because people aren't going to be expecting that as much and obviously that is risky because you're exposed to everything out here so you are putting yourself at risk let's say you need to approach healing waters from the west side uh, there's a couple ways to do that it depends on where you need to go if you need to go this way then a really helpful thing is to be on top of here, right? Well, instead of going up that ladder and taking more time, you can jump on this on this box, then onto this railing, and then vault on top like that. You want to climb ladders at really as little as possible. Uh, and then even to give you another tip about ladders, uh, when you get to the top of a ladder, you're also stuck in an animation as you're getting off of it. Once you start moving forward right now, you can actually jump off and you will stay on the top. Just like that. It'll save you a fraction of a second, but uh, depending on the situation, that could save your life. You're not locked into 
this animation right here and again with ladders being such a, a negative thing to me i don't want to be stuck climbing a ladder uh there's actually a way to get up here that gets around ladders not only can you just vault on that you can go over to this other one and vault up that one if you want to do that too uh, this is another reason to have vault on some other bind than jump because if i tried to do that i guarantee i would just jump and then fail so you really want to have those on different binds and then once i'm up here i still have more options i can come over here i can jump to this other side i can even get onto these You probably already know that you can get up there. It's not too difficult. You can just vault over here and you can climb on top, but that's not the only way. You can vault from this side and climb up right there. So if you know somebody is coming in from this side, you don't just have to fight them from this angle. You can actually get some elevation and come up on this side. Let's say I wanted to push over there. Well, you can't always go over this jump wall because that oil spill will block your access and it'll be on fire for five minutes if it is lit. You can just jump your way up over these boxes and make it right over. You don't even have to vault, you can just jump. Uh, but you can't go back that way. Wait, but what you can do to go back is vault on top of here and you can make it back, no problem. This right here is a pretty common spot. I think everybody knows about this. You can stand here and peek in that direction. You can even get on top of here, do whatever you want to do, but you can actually make it back over there from this side. A lot of people don't know that. People that uh, hold around here think that nobody's gonna come running over that wall. Well, yeah, they're wrong. And I think the little attic of this building is pretty underutilized. Let's say you know people are coming from Lock Bay. You could take one shot and then move. That's about all I would do is take one shot and move from this position. But you can also get onto this side and look right over here. You're kind of, it's very situational again. I feel like I have to preface every single position with that, but it's true. Uh, you could get a nice little kill on somebody from that position you can even go you can even go from here and go all the way around this wall to get on this front side over here if you're coming in from the east side you have your normal entrances you also have that ladder which i very rarely use what i like to do is uh use this little wall right over here just vault your way right up that it's it can be a little finicky sometimes you can just walk forward to you get to here and then vault sometimes a clue spawns right up on top of this uh instead of going up this ladder And getting the clue here, you can actually just vault up here. And you're good, no ladders. There's been plenty of times I'm fighting somebody at this doorway, and instead of just trying to fight them at that single doorway, you can actually just jump up here. You don't even have to vault, you just keep jumping, and you'll make it up here. It stops them from coming around this way to go to this entrance, and you have uh, a pretty good advantage. You're the one controlling when to peek, not him. Then coming along to this side, I think everybody knows you can get a couple nice angles from here, but you can also vault or just straight up jump on the top of this roof and get a few more nice angles. Again, you're very exposed from everything else, so I wouldn't stay up here for too long. <sighs> As always, I hope you guys learned something. If you did, hit the like button. All the recent YouTube videos that I put up have uh, had an incredible response and I can't thank you guys enough for the subs and the, the likes and everything. 
So if you like this video as well, of course, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and uh, hit the bell so you get notified as soon as I upload a new video. Can't thank you guys enough again. Have a good one. I'll see you out there.